This is a tip about working faster with ZBrush's interface. So I have my tool palette in my right tray. When I click Subtool, Subtool opens, Geometry, Geometry opens, and so on. That is something that you already know. And after a while, if you have a lot of these palettes open, then searching through the menus becomes cumbersome. Now you can create a custom menu like I have done, but even so, you will find yourself often go through the sub palettes and with a lot of them open it can become difficult in order to make it easier on yourself you could go to preferences and to interface so click interface and then you have ui and palettes and in palettes you have auto collapse f16 one open sub palette and in ui groups you have auto gloss UI groups. If you turn this on, now when I click for instance geometry, now you see that the others close. When I go to clay polish, dynamic closed, see remesher and the others closed and so on. So this simplifies your interface and searching through the different sub palettes becomes a lot easier. Now, what if I do want multiple of these open? Let's say I want Dynamics and Zero Measure open. Do I have to go to Preferences and turn them off? No, you can simply hold the Shift key and now click Dynamics and you see Dynamics and Zero Measure are open, although all of the auto-closing buttons are pressed. Now, this doesn't always work, so it does work with these UI groups, so I have multiple of them open. If I click, for instance, now palettes again, the others close. But if I hold shift and click UI, now you see UI and palettes are both open. When I shift click UI groups, that opens. But if I, for instance, want interface and let's say my, uh, for some reason, transpose open and shift click now the interface has been closed so in order to work around this I have created a simple micro with collapsing off and you see that they all turn off and collapsing on and they are turned on again so usually I leave this all on and if I want a sub or a UI group to open with another UI group, I hold the shift key. So now shadow box and dynamic and zero measure are open. If I click dynamic sub diff without shift, the others close. So this way I find it's much faster to navigate your interface. And if you're wondering how to create these macros, that is actually very simple. You go to the menu and you go to micro, new micro. Now for simple interface button clicking, you don't need to fully initialize a ZBrush. I'm going to say no. And now the micro is recording. I turn this all off. I'm going to end my micro. And it's going to ask me where to save it. Of course, I have incorporated this button into my um, custom interface. I'm going to do, remove them later. So if you want to turn them on and off, you have to go to preferences and then click them on and off. So save it into your ZBrush folder in your Z startup and macros. And you can put it in macros or add it or add a new folder and put it in that folder. And I'm going to already have done so. So when you now go to micro, you have your folders and you have your micros. So collapsing on and you see in the right bottom, they all turn on and collapsing off and they all turn off. So usually I leave them on and with UI groups, you can hold shift to open multiple once and that is usually very necessary when you're working with strokes or when you have a curve then you can shift click 
your curve modifiers and if you noticed the tool did not close at this point and that is because the stroke menu is rather short if I add preferences you will see that normally you see that the tool has been closed stroke not so with this short palette when everything is on the screen or on still visible it doesn't auto close so when I open this sphere I see that now stroke has closed but anyway that's on a side note so I'm going to close preferences stroke and everything auto collapsing is on so if I do lazy mouse the others close but when I want them all open shift click shift click shift click and if for some reason or when I go to the menus and I want multiple uh, palettes open that doesn't work with shift click I just do collapsing off and now I can add or open them without having to shift click and when I'm done I'm turning them back on and then continue navigating with a clean UI because of the auto collapsing just like that hope this was useful bye for now